Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this general energy reading for you. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or maybe any other placement you may have. Please keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could very well be talking to a cross watcher here, okay? So keep that in mind. If this, if we are, if you are cross watching for a Cancerian energy and this still does resonate for you, at least in terms of the message, then just place it in your life as it fits. The roles can be reversed, okay? This is also a timeless reading, even though this is being channeled during the month of September. This literally could resonate for you at any moment, yeah? Okay. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys, so leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know how this resonates for you. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list my email address and the, uh, the readings and sessions that I offer. Uh, shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Now, if you guys know of me, then you know that when I talk about astrology, we do astrology here on Divine Conversations, but I look at that i i uh, practice astrology from the true sidereal system but you do not have to be familiar with the true sidereal system or resonate with the true sidereal system to resonate with this reading this is just a big old general message for the energy of cancer and if you resonate with the energy of cancer then this reading could absolutely resonate for you yes all right cancer enough chit chat Let's get into your message. What's going on for Cancer at this time, please? Spirit, what messages do you have for the constellation, the signs, the energy of Cancer? First card you have here, Cancer, is Close Encounters. First thing that I'm feeling with this, Cancer, is you are being encouraged to open yourself up to allow new people to come into your life. You may be going through, or you may have been going through a pretty strong transformational period in your life. Uh, where you uh, see you have the all these butterflies here and I do feel like you're kind of coming out of this cage at this time You're ready to emerge from some sort of cocoon and the big thing or the message that I have for you right now in terms of that is don't be afraid Okay, allow yourself to be free allow yourself to fly free allow yourself to get out there and test out these beautiful new wings that you've just grown into yes I do feel like your transformational process, at least at this time, has it is over and done and has been successful. I'm also feeling a good deal of apprehension for you, a little bit of fear. Um, how are people going to accept me? Are they going to accept me? Don't worry about that, Cancer, okay? You have a very unique ability um, or you have unique coloring, that's what I wanna say. You have unique wings and it's really time for you to allow those wings to shine, to allow your colors to shine, okay? Um, I'm picking up on, for this message, um, this has to do with, this definitely has to do with interpersonal relationships. Yes, because you are being encouraged to allow yourself to have these close encounters. But I feel like um, you are coming out of a type of, uh, a bit of a hermit mode energy, which is not unfamiliar or out of the ordinary for a Cancerian. Uh, cancers do like to disappear into their shells for a hot second just to get themselves back in alignment, get themselves in order. But specifically Cancer, I feel like there is definitely a transformational process in terms of the relationships that you allow to have in your life. Um, that would definitely correspond with the uh, full moon energy that we have here that is on September 9th into September 10th. Technically, in terms of true sidereal astrology, that full moon is exact in the constellation of Aquarius. Aquarius does um, rule the 11th house. Your 11th house is your wishes, your dreams, your hopes, and your fears. But also, it is your social groups, the groups that you connect with. Now, um, in terms of tropical astrology, the full moon is going to be in Pisces. Um, but really, in terms of true sidereal astrology, which again is what I practice here on Divine Conversations, the full moon does go exact in Aquarius and then kind of carries into that energy of Pisces. Okay, so with this energy, I feel like this full moon could really be influencing you in the month of September, could be or could have, depending on when you're watching this reading. Uh, could be or could have influenced you to start to reach out and find new groups. But these new groups, these new associations, whether this be love and romance or whether this just be friends, 
and um, just social groups. I feel like this full moon is influencing you to get out there and show this new self that you have transformed into, okay? Bring this out to the collective. It's time for you to shine. You do have, the next card you have here is vibration, okay? Uh, your vibration has shifted. You're ready to, uh, to associate with those new um, situations, those new encounters, those new friends, friend circles, friendships, romantic relationships that match this new vibration. But Cancer, please don't be afraid to show this new side of you, to show this new self. You have grown into this new self for a reason, Cancer, and that reason is for you to be able to shine it out into the world, to let your light, to let your new brand new colors to be shown to the world, okay? It's really time for that. You're really being encouraged with that. I'm definitely feeling a strong level of apprehension, feeling timid, maybe feeling quite a bit shy, but you're really ready to emerge, okay? So I really want to allow, I really want to encourage you to allow this new side of you to be seen by the world. It is going to be accepted, not necessarily by everyone, okay? But there are individuals or there are circumstances that will match this new vibration. But in order for you to experience this cancer, you're going to have to you're gonna have to let it out there. You're gonna have to put it out there. You're gonna have to let yourself come out and shine, yes? All right, let's get into some tarot for this message for you. I'm gonna give this three shuffles. So that was one. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other placement that you may be curious about, what is your message for Cancer at this time? What's going on for Cancer at this time, please, Spirit? All right, here we go, Cancer. First card you have is the Magician. Okay, it's time for you to manifest. You have the ability to manifest. Um, I, I, I wonder if you're conscious of this or not, but um, the, 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 the period that you've been going through of transformation um, has been putting you in direct alignment with what it is you want to manifest in your life coming up. Um, the new that you want to manifest into your life. And so now you're emerging here in this ma magician energy. I feel like the magician here is a symbol, is a sign for you that you're ready to start uh, manipulating the energies or doing the work that you would need to do or putting the focus, the time, the attention, the energy into what it is you would need to do to attract or manifest the new in your life. You have these tools, okay? The magician represents um, an individual who is a master manifester who has all the tools that he needs at his disposal. And the magician is depicted here with the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the um, Ace of Wands, Ace of Qu oh, and the Ace of Pentacles, right. So what this is saying to me here is, again, this transformational process that you went through, this cocoon that you're now emerging out of, that process has refined your tools, has given you a new set of tools, has upgraded your tools to be out there and make sure that you are getting more of what it is that you want. Your vibration is matching this now. You are a vibrational match to it now. You are ready to go for your dreams. The next card you have is the star which it does represent healing. So this is confirming that you have healed a great deal. This is not to say that there isn't ever any gonna be any more healing. This is not to say you're never gonna go back into some sort of um, cocoon-like state later on in the future. But right now, your healing has been sufficient enough for you to emerge and now work on manifesting what it is that you want in this new vibration, okay? The next card you have after this um, after the magician and the star is the knight of swords the knight of swords has been coming out all morning it's a very interesting energy maybe a bit of an aggressive energy here okay but really the message that's been coming through for the collective with this knight of swords energy is to really allow yourself to fight for this to fight for whatever it is that is new for you to cut yourself free from the old burdens and really to make the space that is necessary for you to manifest the new that is in a vibrational match to this new vibration you're holding 
Also, the Knight of Swords could represent communication. Um, and, and, and yes, the Knight of Swords could represent an aggressive energy, but this Knight of Swords energy feels like a, commun a, a very a strong level of excitement, um, being excited to communicate now or again with this new vibration that you're holding. Also, Spirit is saying the Knight of Swords energy does represent the retrograde motion of Mercury that is happening throughout the month of September. It actually starts on the 9th of September, which is right around that time of the full moon, which is in the constellation of Aquarius in terms of true sidereal astrology. Aquarius is represented here by the star, okay? Um, so it's all about that communication. It's all about fighting for what is right or what is true for you. It's all about cutting yourself out of this cocoon and really asserting yourself, really allowing yourself to communicate, really being bold in your communication, okay? Fight for what is right for you, all right? You do have death at the bottom of the deck here. This is representing or confirming that transformation that you are go going through or you have gone through. You are ready to emerge, yes? Let's clarify. Clarify the magician for, for cancer, please. Okay. You have the Hierophant here. The Hierophant has come out of, in reverse. Um, but however, I do feel like this is a confirmation of the, um, of the transformation that you've gone through. You've come out of this situation. What you went through in this cocoon energy or in this time period of, of, go, of going through transformation was really coming into closer contact greater association with your higher self. So what this is saying to me, Cancer, is that you have completed a transformative process that has really um, reaffirmed your connection to your higher self um, and your sense of direction and maybe even your sense of purpose. Clarify this magician energy, please, for Cancer. Okay. Okay, also here, excellent. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the sun in terms of clarifying the magician here. So um, also what I'm getting this, what I just heard for you, Cancer, here is in this magician energy, in this new energy of being ready to manifest something new or ready to um, start to use the tools that you have to your disposal, your upgraded tools at your disposal to really start manifesting the new, you are leaving some sort of uh, conformity or some old structure behind. Um, and you, I, I really feel like you really had to fight for this. Uh, this transformational process that you went through, this cocoon energy that you are emerging out of now, might have been really painful, but it was really deconstructive here, okay? During this time period, you went through a, 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 you went through a time period where you were weighing out the options. You were looking at your old sense of self, your old beliefs, what it was you were committed Committed to in the past and you really balanced those scales between the two you compared the two you were in a process or in a time period of saying I know I was committed to something in the past but I don't feel like I resonate with that any longer and so in this transformational process you really allowed yourself to weigh the options to go back and forth and, and go through that pro the pros and cons of the old versus the new and you're emerging now in a time period or in a space that is going to bring you greater happiness greater fulfillment greater wish fulfillment you do have both cards of wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups and the star but what i'm feeling like here is there is a great sense of relief for you in terms of releasing some sort of old um, disciplines or maybe old dogma or social conditioning, things like that. There is a great sense of relief for you in coming out of that energy, having weighed that energy and released something for you that no longer served you. Um, I, I definitely feel a great deal of relief having made that decision and now coming out of that process. But then also moving forward here, you are better equipped to manifest things into your life um, that are going to bring you a greater sense of peace and contentment because this is all because you have been able to shift your vibration to match what is new for you, okay? And this is really what influenced you to go through that uh, that time period of transformation, go through that death process because I do feel like uh, before, when, when you went into this time period of um, being in that cocoon, 
it was because or it was influenced by the fact that your inner your energetic vibration was shifting anyway and things in your outside world didn't quite match up so you had to kind of like retract and go within and figure out what the hell was going on within you and do, go through that process of weighing the pros and the cons here and now you're emerging feeling much lighter, okay? Feeling much happier, feeling much more, again, connected to your higher self, connected to the truth of your being. And, and just by you being in that energy now is putting you in a greater place to receive exactly what it is that you want. The sun here, the sun is at the overall energy clarifying the magician. I, I just, I really, honestly, Cancer, I just get this level or this feeling of relief for you having cleared away from some of that old and heavy uh, dogmatic type of energy or belief systems or requirements that were really just weighing you down. And as you emerge out of this place in this transformed space, having upgraded tools, the sun is bright, is, is shining for you. Your days are feeling brighter. You're feeling happier. You're feeling more content. And that is literally putting you in the place or in the energetic space and the vibrational space to really manifest the new in your life. Even though you don't, you, I, I really get this feeling here as you're emerging you don't really necessarily know exactly what it is that you're going to be manifesting but just the feeling for you at this time is so free clear and ready to manifest the new being open to these new close encounters okay beautiful energy let's clarify the star clarify the star for cancer please spirit The Knight of Wands, a new sense of inspiration, drive, enthusiasm, and excitement. Excitement, yes. The Lovers. And one last card, please, to clarify the star for Cancer. Oof, excellent. The Ten of Swords, Cancer. This is really all confirmation that... Um, you're really in what I'm what I'm hearing is you are in direct alignment to achieve and or receive that which is of your highest and best good. And this absolutely can with the lovers represent a new love situation. OK, a new vibration when it comes to love. So in this cocoon energy, you really may have gone into a space of um, understanding what it is you had in front of you. Uh, in terms of love and romance, if this is resonating for you on a love uh, re, uh, love tip, um, uh, really understanding the dynamics that you had in terms of love or just interpersonal relationships, okay? And in that cocoon energy, you made a decision. You got into alignment with that which was of your highest good. And by you doing that, Cancer, the, the, the lovers here with the Knight of Wands, you're emerging into this energy of feeling excited, feeling refreshed and renewed, having a, a renewed sense of love or having a renewed faith in love or having a renewed faith in your interpersonal relationships, all because you are in a new uh, vibrational energy that is bringing towards you um, better associations in terms of love and interpersonal relationships. And this Ten of Swords here is confirming that. Ha being at this Ten of Swords energy, having completed some really negative, toxic, or painful circumstances, some really rough circumstances, just completing that alone is filling you with a sense of enthusiasm to make the choice to go after what it is that you want. Also, with the lovers here and the Ten of Swords, I feel like you have a greater sense of clarity, okay? That's helping you perceive of what would truly be for your highest good. So as you're moving forward here, moving forward towards these new close encounters that, are, uh, that you are now in a vibrational alignment with, I feel like as you move forward, and this is another reason why you are really being encouraged to allow yourself to get out there and have these new encounters. Um, I really feel like you are going to be able to perceive of that which really would not be good for you versus that which would be the best for you at this time. And that is all because you have completed or closed out certain situations in your life that were really toxic and really painful. But it's this energy of you having reached the 10, the completion of these cycles and circumstances and situations 
situations that is putting you in that direct alignment or putting you in that energetic space or that focus, that, 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 that focal point to, to look at the potential or the options that could be coming forward towards you now and have a greater of understanding of that which would be best for you, that which would be within your highest good or that which is in alignment with you now in this new transformed vibration for you. Overall energy is the nine of pentacles here, uh, clarifying the star. Um, you have a greater sense of independence now. You are, uh, yeah, you have a greater sense of independence now. Also coupled with that hierophant energy in reverse, that is clarifying the magician. Um, I feel like now that you have released a lot of the judgments or a lot of the requirements or a lot of the belief systems that were pressed upon you that were really heavy also uh, uh, um, represented here by the ten of swords you're in a much better place to think for yourself uh very much the 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 nine of pentacles is an energy of being a a sovereign being and a free thinker having a mind of your own Be, you are and this is another reason cancer even though you may feel timid or you may feel a little bit shy or maybe a little bit scared or apprehensive the nine of pentacles here as the overall energy is in terms of clarifying the star for you um your greater wish fulfillment you have the uh, independence, the level of sovereignty to think for yourself, to think on your own and to make the best choices for you. You are no longer an allowing or in a vibrational place that would have you be influenced by the thoughts and the opinions and the beliefs and the requirements of other people. It's all about who you are at this time, what serves your highest good at this time. And you are in a very independent place, a strongly independent place to make those decisions for yourself to serve your highest good your higher good and to receive to help you receive and achieve and go for go after what it is you truly dream of and this is all because of the healing process that you went through in terms of this energy i'm really loving this for you cancer okay i'm really loving this for you cancer i will want i do want to say overall energy right now clarifying the star is the nine of pentacles underneath that is justice Ooh, to the king of pentacles and the knight of pentacles greater commitment a greater level of commitment you being in this independent energy cancer if you're if this is really resonating for you on a love uh, on a love tip um you really being in this independent energy being able to think for yourself freeing yourself of the uh, uh, of the chains and the confines of other people is really going to make you very attractive to someone who would really want to commit to you because you have your own sense of self self sense of self okay i definitely for some of you here i definitely see someone coming through for you in terms of love and commitment um all because of your sense of independence it's this sense of independence that is bringing justice into your life as, and is bringing a level of commitment to your life. Greater commitment, okay? Because the king of pentacles is all about being solid and stable within themselves. Whether it's a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This is just energy, not gender. But I do feel like you are going to be now, because you are in a very independent state, you are going to be attracting someone who is also in an independent state and they are looking for someone that can stand on their own, that can hold their own, that can be as much of a rock, a solid foundational rock or solid foundational being, just as much of that energy as they are. That's what's making you attractive to them at this time. So ultimately, this is why this level of independence that you have grown into is bringing greater justice into your life. Beautiful Cancer, I love this for you. Finally, I wanna clarify the Knight of Swords for you. Clarify the Knight of Swords for my Cancerians, please, Spirit. What's this Knight of Swords for Cancer? Okay, so what I wanted to say just now as, the, as I was clarifying the Knight of Swords um, 
is I feel like the Knight of Swords could be represented. It, it, it is for you, Cancer. It's representing needing to fight for where it is you are. Fight for yourself. Maybe even be fairly aggressive in your communication. I don't mean that in terms of, you know, going out there trying to fillet people up. You know what I mean? Because the Knight of Swords energy can be very volatile, can be very shoot first, ask questions later. But I don't think I feel like that's who you are or I don't feel like the energy that you would be embodying here. You would just be embodying the element of the knight of swords that fights for what they for what they believe in now with that said i do also feel like right before i i pulled this clair of these clarifiers here i was kind of picking up on the fact that the knight of swords could be some individuals in your life most likely with what we have here and i'll show you in a second but most likely could be some past lovers past romantic associations, maybe even some past friends that you were associated with that are coming forward towards you and fighting against this new vibration that you are holding because you are no longer a vibrational match to these old circumstances and situations. And this is kind of confirming that, okay? So what do you have here clarifying the Knight of Swords is the Four of Pentacles, the King of Cups in reverse. There's that old lover. This is a scorned lover. For some of you, this King of Cups energy, this is someone who was never emotionally available before. And now that you have let this situation go, now all of a sudden they want to show you emotion. But it's not even that. It's like their butt hurt. OK, they're they were not emotionally available. This is a not, this is not an emotionally stable person. This is not an emotionally mature person. And that would be very apparent and very obvious to you in the way that they are presenting themselves now that they're riding in, trying to cut you out of this space of, or trying to stop you trying to fight you against moving forward in this new dynamic. And I definitely feel like Cancer, with the new point of view that you have, should this person come to you in this way, trying to hold on to you, you would be able to see very clearly just how emotionally unstable, I'm hearing an emotional wreck, this person is or maybe these people are. And all of that is because of this new perspective that you have, having closed out these old cycles. This is that perspective that is able to show you what is of your highest good and what is not, okay? This absolutely could be an old commitment that you had made, that you were standing for, that you were fighting for. But because you're no longer fighting for this cancer, now all of a sudden this person wants to hold, wants to ride in trying to defend their honor or trying to fight against what it is you're moving forward towards because you are no longer moving forward with them and they're butthurt about it. Clarification in terms of that, bam, the three of swords to strength. This is an egoic thing. This is nothing but ego cancer, okay? But see, your advice here is to match them in that Knight of Swords energy. But don't match them in terms of trying to fight them and trying to cut them down the way that you are. No, defend your honor. Defend your right to choose that Nine of Pentacles energy. Defend your right to be an independent and sovereign being and say, no, I don't want this anymore. And while they are showing up in this egoic strength, this egoic, like this real strong egoic energy, their ego is hurt, their ego is bruised, their butt hurt, you are on the, you can be at this time in this new vibration, Cancer, you can be the exact opposite of that. You can stand your ground and fight for yourself and fight for your honor and hold your own and not be overly egoic about it. You can hold your ego in check see exactly what's going on in front of you and say, I choose no. I say no. That is the transformation that you have gone through. These are the new colors that you are, are, you are encouraged to shine out in the world. Okay? Oh. Oh. I love this for you, Cancer. I want to close this out for you. Um, and since this seems to be such a, a love and relationship, interpersonal relationship, uh, dominant energy, I want to close. I want to get you a closing message from the Lover's Oracle, okay? All right. Closing message for Cancer at this time. This is it right here and this is perfect this is beautiful this is your confirmation ready we have this beautiful card here and this says 
Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, which seems to be who this person is or what this person is doing, right? When we resist change, we, uh, we resist the natural flow of life. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Yes? Oh. Huh. Yeah. I forgot to look at the bottom of the deck with clarifying uh, the Knight of Swords here. It's the Four of Cups. I encourage you, I really encourage you to be this, mm, no, I don't want it energy when it comes to this person coming back trying to fight against your transformation. This is one of the rare times that I say that the Four of Cups energy is appropriate. All right? because somebody that was toxic to you might be a Scorpio actually with this King of Cups here. It doesn't have to be. Could also be a Gemini, doesn't have to be. Um, it, might, may, it might be a Leo too, take it as it resonates. But this is one of the rare times that I would say that the Four of Cups energy is appropriate. But it's only appropriate here, Cancer, because you are rejecting the past and you're moving forward for the future, towards the future, you're fighting for the future. So when it comes to this for you, I say this Four of Cups energy is definitely appropriate because you are rejecting the past energies because you are in a new vibration. Beautiful Cancer. I love this for you. There you have it. I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please make sure to smash that like button for me if this resonated for you. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know how this resonates for you or claiming this energy. If this really resonates for you and for cancer, I'm going to need you to claim this energy because you deserve it. Yes? Um, Definitely smash that subscribe button for me. Hit the notification bell to get all of the notifications for all of the messages that we have coming forward for you. And if you would like a personal session with me, whether that be an, a session with True Sidereal Astrology or just a general energy and or love reading, hit me up. My information can be found in the description box below with my email address and the sessions that I offer. I'm sending you so much love, Cancer. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Mm -hmm. ah. Bye. <laughs>